Human history is a long and storied field of research, and within that field is the wonderful, mysterious world of archaeology. Discovering things that may have been buried for centuries is a very thrilling time, and it's no wonder that many people decide to go into the work for a living. The sheer number of archaeologists in the world means that there have been so many interesting sites recovered that otherwise never would have been seen again. From a Buddhist statue with a dark secret, the CT scan revealed the remains of a mummified monk sitting in the same position as the external statue. To the Ark of the Covenant, you wouldn't believe what incredible things have been discovered throughout the years. Make sure to stick around until the end. You wouldn't want to miss the mysterious Copper Scroll. Here are 15 of the greatest archaeological discoveries ever made. Number 15. Swedish Witchcraft Island a Swedish island has been recently discovered that's rumored to have been used for witchcraft. It's known as Graskar and is located off the coast of Stockholm. Graskar is a small island located in the Stockholm archipelago and is known for its connection to witchcraft and folklore. It's believed that witches and shamans used the island as a place of worship and to perform rituals. The island is also home to many ancient stone circles and mysterious rock carvings that have been linked to pagan practices. The exact origin of these carvings is unknown, but it's believed to be over 4,000 years old. Graskar is an incredibly mysterious and enchanting place, and has become a popular destination for those interested in exploring its history and mysteries. Visitors can take boat trips to the island and explore its ancient monuments and mysterious carvings. There are also several hiking trails around the island, allowing visitors to explore the island's flora and fauna. It's interesting that such a daunting place has become a really attractive tourist destination. Number 14. Nazca Lines The Nazca Lines are a series of ancient geoglyphs located in the Nazca Desert in southern Peru. They were created by the Nazca culture between 500 BC and 500 CE and are believed to have had religious and ceremonial significance. The lines span more than 500 square kilometers and depict various shapes such as animals, plants, and geometric figures. The most famous of the lines is a giant hummingbird, which can only be seen from a great altitude. The purpose of the Nazca lines is still debated, although many scholars believe that they may have been used for rituals or for astronomical observations. Some have suggested that the lines were used by shamans to communicate with gods or spirits. Other theories suggest that the lines were used to mark important trade routes or to create a map of the area. Some have also speculated that the lines had spiritual significance and were used to mark the passage of time or to honor the gods. Either way, it's unlikely that the true purpose of the Nazca lines will ever fully be understood. Number 13. Buddhist Statue with Dark Secret Recently, a Buddhist statue has been discovered to have a monk's skeleton inside. This discovery is remarkable, as it's extremely rare to find an intact skeleton inside a Buddhist statue. This discovery is of great importance, both to archaeologists and historians, as it provides an insight into the burial practices of Buddhists during the time the statue was created. The quality of preservation of the skeleton and the statue itself makes this discovery even more significant. It also provides insight into the beliefs and practices of ancient Buddhists, as well as their reverence for the dead. Additionally, this discovery adds to the knowledge about the history and culture of the region where the statue was found. The Buddhist culture is fairly conservative, so it's likely that the monk chose to be buried inside the statue as a way to be closer to the teachings embodied in the statue. This discovery also raises interesting questions about the statue's creator, as well as the monk's motivation for being buried inside. Furthermore, the discovery of this monk's skeleton may shed light on the evolution of Buddhist burial practices over time. Number 12. Noah's Ark A group of scholars has recently claimed that they found the original resting place of Noah's Ark. They claim that the Ark is embedded in a glacier on Mount Ararat in Turkey. Although this claim has yet to be verified, it's not implausible. Mount Ararat is a mountain in the Armenian highlands and has a peak of 5,165 meters or 16,945 feet above sea level. It's been suggested by some that the Ark may have ended up on the mountain after the Great Flood. In addition, the area around the mountain has a long history of Christian and Jewish pilgrimage, dating back to the Middle Ages. Given the potential historical and religious significance of this discovery, it's likely that further research will be conducted in order to verify or disprove the scholar's claim. Until then, 
it's best to remain skeptical but open-minded about this potential discovery. It does make sense to have a healthy level of skepticism for anything surrounding religious claims, but considering the evidence in this case, the chances are good that the actual Ark has finally been found. Number 11. The Hui Tomb The Hui Tomb is a monument located in the ancient city of El Kab, Egypt, on the east bank of the Nile. The tomb dates to the late period of ancient Egypt, likely to the 26th dynasty, or 664 to 525 BC. It's the most well-preserved tomb in the city and is notable for its intricate relief carvings and wall paintings. The tomb may have been built for the high-ranking official Hui, who is believed to have served during the reign of Samtik I, 664 to 610 BC. The tomb consists of an entrance corridor, an inner chamber, and a rear chamber, all of which are decorated with reliefs and paintings. The entrance corridor is decorated with scenes depicting Hui and his wife. The inner chamber contains scenes of offering bearers and a depiction of Hui and his wife in the presence of a deity. The rear chamber contains numerous scenes of daily life, such as hunting and fishing. The walls of the tomb are painted with vibrant colors, including yellow, red, and blue. The paintings are in relatively good condition and depict scenes of life in ancient Egypt. The tomb is perhaps one of the most important examples of the late period architecture and art. Number 10. Treasure in Cursed Temple A vault within the temple of Sri Padmanabhaswami has never fully been opened, and for possibly good reason. The vault is believed to contain a vast amount of wealth and treasure that's said to have collected by the royal family that once ruled the region. The entrance to the vault is sealed with a large iron door and is believed to be guarded by powerful deities that protect the temple and its wealth. The exact contents of the vault remain a mystery, as no one has ever been able to open the door. Despite numerous attempts to enter the vault, it's remained closed for centuries. The temple is considered to be one of the holiest places in India and is a major pilgrimage site for Hindus. The temple is also a popular tourist attraction, and its vast wealth and mystery have always been a source of intrigue. The wealth inside the vault is believed to be so vast that it could potentially make India one of the wealthiest nations in the world. Unfortunately, the exact contents of the vault will remain a mystery until it's opened. It's unknown whether or not it's ever planned to actually open the vault, but hopefully if it is, nothing terrible is released upon the world. Number 9. Desert Valley Full of Whales Recently, a valley has been discovered within a desert that's full of whale skeletons. It's estimated that the whales have been there for over 10,000 years. This discovery is quite remarkable and has raised many questions about how these whales ended up in the desert. It's currently believed that the whales were swept away from their normal habitat in the open ocean and trapped in the valley by strong currents that prevented them from returning to the sea. Scientists are still trying to understand how the whales died and why their bones have stayed well preserved for so long. The discovery of these whale skeletons has provided valuable insight into the ancient oceanography of the region. It's likely that the valley was once part of the sea, and the current desertification of the surrounding area has caused the water to recede. This discovery has also provided an opportunity to study the evolution of whales over time. By analyzing the skeletons, scientists can understand how whales have adapted over the years and how they interacted with their environment. The discovery of the whale skeletons in the desert could be an important clue in understanding the past and future of our planet. It provides us with an opportunity to better understand our planet and its history. Number 8. Footprints Discovered Miles Underwater Recently, a team of researchers has discovered a set of footprints miles underwater. This is an exciting discovery as it provides further evidence of the presence of aquatic creatures that lived in the area millions of years ago. But if you ask me, it might just be humans that walked in the area before the ocean was even there. The footprints could provide valuable insight into the history of the region and the creatures that lived there. It's likely that the team of researchers will continue to investigate the area and take samples to better understand the environment and the creatures that lived there. This could lead to a better understanding of the past and the creatures of the area. The footprints were located in a deep sea environment within the country of Australia. The area is believed to be millions of years old and the prints offer evidence of life there. Well, I guess it's not humans then. Might be a different creature. Hmm. The team of researchers is working hard to determine the age of the footprints, as well as the type of the creature that left them. They're also looking to determine the environment in which the creature lived and what type of food they ate. This discovery is an exciting one, as it provides further evidence of life in the area millions of years ago. 
It's likely that further research will be conducted there, and the team of researchers will continue to investigate the footprints to learn more about the creatures that lived there and in the environment in which they lived. Number 7. King Tut's Tomb King Tut's tomb is located in the Valley of the Kings, Egypt. It's one of the most famous tombs in the valley and was discovered in 1922 by British archaeologist Howard Carter. The tomb was built for Pharaoh Tutankhamun, who ruled from 1332 to 1323 BC and contained many artifacts and treasures. Today, it's a popular tourist attraction and a major archaeological site. The tomb was originally sealed when it was discovered, and it's believed that the tomb was left undisturbed since Tutankhamun's death and inside, the walls are decorated with intricate images and hieroglyphics. The burial chamber contains Tutankhamun's sarcophagus and other artifacts. The tomb also contains a treasury, which is filled with royal items such as jewelry and chariots. The tomb was sealed because it was believed to be cursed. Those who enter the tomb and disturb its contents are said to be cursed, and there are even stories of people who have died after entering. It's still unknown whether or not the deaths of people who have entered the tomb were actually related, or perhaps they just got diseased by some bacteria that was in the area. <laughs> Number 6. The Disappearance of Sang Chung Dui The disappearance of Sang Chung Dui is a mysterious event that occurred in China during the Shang Dynasty in about 1600 to 1046 BCE. In 1929 CE, two large and unique bronze sculptures were discovered in Shangjing Dui, near the city of Guanghan, in what's now known as the Xixuan province. The discovery of these sculptures was a major surprise to the archaeological community, as they'd never seen anything like them before. The sculptures have been dated to around 1100 BCE, and it's believed that they represent a culture that existed in the region before the rise of the Shang Dynasty. However, no other artifacts of this culture have been discovered, and it's unknown what happened to it. Theories about the disappearance of the Shangjing Dui range from natural disasters to foreign invasions. Another theory suggests that this culture may have moved to another area, leaving their monuments behind. Whatever the cause, the disappearance of Shangjing Dui remains an unsolved mystery. The sculptures and other artifacts from the site have helped to shed light on the history of the area and its mysterious culture, but the full story of Zhang Zhuang Di's disappearance has yet to be uncovered. Before we go on, do like this video, smash that subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or the centipede will crawl on your face while you're sleeping. It's time for today's subscriber pick. This photograph was taken by an archaeological team in Chile that found this peculiar site on a beach. This humanoid form was encased in discolored sand, which the team slowly began to clear away as they attempted to excavate whatever was locked inside. There have been no reports on what was found within this strange object, so we can only guess as to the origin of it and how it ended up on a beach. It looks to be larger than a normal human with a strange chest cavity, though that could just be the way that the sand was formed around them. It may be some sort of burial ritual, but it's strange that only one body was found here, if that was the case. What do you think this object actually is? Do you think that it's the body of a person, or is it some sort of ruse or ceremonial device? Remember to comment down below with the hashtag subscriber pick and let us know what you think. Now, on to the next topic. Number 5. Ark of the Covenant a team has recently claimed that they found the true resting place of the Ark of the Covenant. They claim to have found it in a secret chamber beneath the temple in the city of Ajum, Ethiopia. At this point, the claim is unsubstantiated, and there's no scientific evidence to support the team's claim. It's possible that the Ark of the Covenant does exist in a secret chamber beneath a temple in Ajum, Ethiopia, but until further archaeological and scientific evidence is uncovered, the claim remains unproven. Despite this, the team's claim has generated significant media attention and speculation. The Ark of the Covenant is an important religious artifact in Judaism and Christianity, and its location has been a source of mystery and debate for centuries. The team's claim, if proven true, could have major implications on the understanding of religious history and could reshape our understanding of the Ark's significance. Number 4. Antikythera Mechanism the 
Antikythera mechanism is an ancient Greek analog computer used to predict astronomical positions and eclipses for calendar and astrological purposes. It was discovered in the Antikythera wreck off the Greek island of Antikythera between Kythera and Crete in 1901. The mechanism is believed to have been created around the late 2nd century BC and is estimated to be the oldest known mechanical computing device. The mechanism is made up of a complex assembly of at least 30 meshing bronze gears and a system of hand-cranked dials. It's thought to have been used to calculate the cycles of the solar system, such as the position of the sun, moon, and planets, and the timing of eclipses. It's believed to have been a powerful tool for astronomical calculation and was likely used by a trained expert. The complexity of a device like this is beyond measure, and therefore, many people have claimed that the culture of the time didn't have the ability to create something like this. Some have claimed that time travel is involved, while others believed that it has to do with aliens. Regardless, the mechanism is an incredibly neat part of Greek history. Number 3. The Gobekli Tepe The Gobekli Tepe is an archaeological site located in the southeastern Anatolia region of Turkey. It's believed to be the oldest known temple in the world, dating back to the 10th millennium BCE. The site contains a series of megalithic structures which are thought to have been erected by hunter-gatherers. The megaliths are made of limestone and are decorated with carved symbols and animal figures. Gobekli Tepe has been the subject of numerous theories, including that it may have served as an astronomical observatory or pilgrimage site. It's currently under excavation by archaeologists from the German Archaeological Institute. The temple at Gobekli Tepe is believed to have been built around 9500 BCE, making it one of the earliest known monuments in the world, as well as the oldest temple as aforementioned. It's thought to have been a place of worship and ritual activity, though the exact purpose and meaning of the structures remains unknown. The site is believed to have been in use for around 1000 years before being abandoned for unknown reasons. Number 2. The Voynich Manuscript the Voynich Manuscript is an illustrated codex handwritten in an unknown writing system. The manuscript is named after Wilfred Voynich, a Polish Samogitian book dealer who purchased in 1912. The vellum on which it's written has been carbon dated to the early 15th century, or around 1404 to 1438, and it may have been composed in northern Italy during the Italian Renaissance. The manuscript is in a composite language that's incomprehensible and has defied all decipherment attempts. The manuscript has been studied by many professional and amateur cryptographers, including American and British codebreakers from both World War I and World War II. No one has yet succeeded in deciphering the text, and it's become a famous case in the history of cryptography. The mystery of the meaning and the origin of the manuscript has excited the popular imagination, making the manuscript the subject of many a novel and speculation. None of the many hypotheses proposed over the last hundred years have yet been independently verified. Many people wonder whether or not this manuscript was even created on Earth. Many think that because the writing system is so cryptic, it could have been created by an alien race. Hopefully, more information will be discovered regarding the manuscript soon, because I want to read. Number 1. The Copper Scroll The mysterious Copper Scroll is one of the Dead Sea Scrolls, found in a cave near Qumran, Israel in 1952. It's unique in that it's written on copper instead of parchment or papyrus, and is inscribed with a list of 64 locations where buried treasure is supposedly located. The text is written in cryptic and abbreviated form, and many of the locations remain unknown. Scholars have theorized that the text may be a record of treasures hidden by members of the Jewish Zealot movement during the Jewish-Roman War of 66 to 70 CE. The scroll was written in the Paleo-Hebrew script and is believed to date to the 1st century CE. It's uncertain who wrote the scroll or why, but it's possible that it was written by members of the Essenes, a Jewish sect who lived in the area. The scroll is currently being studied by scholars, and its contents remain a mystery. The value of the treasure is estimated to be within the billions of dollars, so anyone who manages to crack the cryptic writing system on the scroll will likely turn out to be incredibly wealthy. Which of these things do you think is the greatest? Do you think scientists will ever fully understand all of the crazy archaeological discoveries still being made in the world? Tell us in the comments below, and if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. It helps us to understand what kind of content you enjoy, 
and that way we can tell what kind of topics you're looking for next. Tap that bell icon if you're always looking to learn new things, and we look forward to seeing you in the next one. Peace be with y'all.